Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 17th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about font properties in CSS. So what I've done is I have uh, copied some text of uh, a movie's uh, Wikipedia page this time. You know, this is a movie that I watched, uh, you know, a couple of months ago. It's called John Wick. It has uh, Keanu Reeves in the lead and uh, I really like the action in the film. So, you know, I thought that maybe I could uh, just copy, you know, the summary of the film and paste it in the body section and, you know, work around with the font properties. So, um, in the style section, I have one, two, three, four, five font properties and, uh, you know, all of them apply on the paragraph element because I have all my text in the paragraph tags and uh, of course I also have uh, an H1 level heading which just has a title of the film which is John Wick so what I'll do first is I'll show you how this file looks in the browser so the name of the file is font.html when I open it in the browser this is how it looks you know plain text it's just the heading that's uh, standing out apart from that there's nothing fancy in the file at all so we're going to make it slightly more interesting though so the first thing that i'll do is i'll change the size of the font so i'll change it to 22 points and if you remember you know uh, when we discussed measurement units i told you that the measurement unit that's most commonly used uh, to play with font size is the point unit right so that's what i'm going to use here 22 points save and refresh and this is what i see you know the text is bigger the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to change the font family so you know if you want a cursive font you could have something like Vivaldi you know those of you who are fond of uh, calligraphy or something you know you would like this font so you know it just makes the text look very fancy uh, and if you want to try something basic you could work with Calibri or uh, Arial maybe I'll uh, put Calibri there I'll save the file and when I refresh this is what I see right so the paragraph text has a different font family and the heading text has a different font family so you know you should make sure that there is not such a mismatch because this is something that would easily catch the eye of the reader the next thing that we're going to do is change the font variant value so you know let's say you want all your text in capital case but you also don't want it to be too big so you know you could set a value uh, you know small caps for this particular property and uh, it would suit your purpose just fine so I'll save the file when I refresh it in the browser I see that all my text is in uppercase now you know not the heading of course because you know the style rule doesn't apply to the h1 element but the paragraph text all of it is in uppercase and uh, you know let's say you want this text to appear in bold so in that case you could make use of the font weight property you know you could give it a value bold save the file when I refresh it in the browser the text is now in bold and uh, the last thing that I'm going to show you guys in this tutorial is you know if you want your text to be in italics then you could just use a value italic for the font style property and I'll save the file and when I refresh it in the browser I see that the text is in italics now so you know this was just to demonstrate all these properties you know of course this file doesn't look good and if the makers of the movie John Wick would see this uh, tutorial then they would be very disappointed because the movie is action-packed and you know I've just made the summary look as dull as possible so uh, this was just to give you uh, you know information about how you could play along with these uh, properties and you know jazz up your text and i hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial and i hope you found it informative and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'll see you in the next video till then take care